Good morning and welcome to BOTB HQ in Parsons Green, South West London. My name is Christian Williams, presenter here at BOTB. We're here this morning to judge the Dream Car Competition and the Lifestyle Competition running from the 22nd to the 28th of April 2019. Just before I hand over to Alex, massive congratulations once again to both of our winners last week. In the Dream Car Competition, winning a brand new BMW X5 and £20,000 in cash, Catalejo Chaka. And in our Lifestyle Competition, picking up the fantastic Samsung bundle that we have in the lineup was Cleland McCann. I'm now going to hand over to Alex Brooks from Onside Law, who will oversee the proceedings this morning. My name is Alex Brooks from Onside Law, and I'll be overseeing the judging this morning. Firstly, I can confirm that the competition data has already been sent to the auditors, Wilkins Kennedy. I would now like to introduce today's judges and ask them to pick a ball out of the hat to determine their seating position. Firstly, Hugh Gilroy. Morning, Alex. Morning. Hi, my name is Hugh Gilroy, an active referee, and my last game was on Saturday. Number four. Alan Goma. Morning, Alex. Morning. Good morning. My name is Alan Goma. I'm an ex professional footballer. I've played for Paris Saint Germain, Newcastle, and Fulham. Number two. Gareth Dillon. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Gareth Dillon. I'm a senior county referee, and I appoint referees to various competitions throughout the London area. I have number five. Leo Dumlin. Good morning, Alex. Hello, my name is Leo Dumlin. I'm an ex-professional football player, having been with Chelsea, Fulham and Leighton Orient. Number three. Kieran Fitzgibbon. Morning, Alex. Good morning. Hello, my name is Kieran Fitzgibbon. I've played football for more than 30 years and I'm now a referee. And I've got number one. And Peter Georgie. Morning. Morning. Morning, my name is Peter George. I'm an AFA football and football referee mentor tutor. Last one. Six. Okay, judges, please mark on the screen where you think the centre of the ball should be. I will ask you to do this individually for a few minutes before uh, justifying your position. I'll then ask you to come to a panel decision on the central screen. Okay, Peter, could you please justify your position? Yeah, mine's the, uh, the, the Red Cross there. Um, these two players in red uh, are in shot. The only really active one is, the, is number four here. Uh, he's on his way up, or just about up, and uh, I've placed the ball there in reference to this guy here where he's looking in, and also this, this guy who's actually, again, looking into this area here. And that's where I place my centre of the ball. Thank you. Next, Leo, could you please justify your position? Yeah, mine's the green cross. Uh, there's two players, eye lines that I took notice of. I think this player's a little bit far away to, to judge too much from. This player's obviously looking in front of him, but, but the player on the left, who I believe, if you look at his body shape, I think he's going to hit the ball. I don't think he's going to chest it because his, ar his arms will be wider. Uh, and if you look at his eye line, I think he's, he's simply he's, he's just looking in that direction. And he's got a nice easy header, so that's why I went there. Thank you very much. Next, Kieran, could you please justify your position? Yes, man's a blue cross here. I've got a feeling the ball's a little bit lower than some of my colleagues. I think this player is looking generally forward. He's in the, the background. This player, number four, is the one that's closest to the ball. Again, not sure that he's going to head it, but he's certainly going towards the ball, and I think the ball is quite close to him, and he may be imminently about to make contact with it. This player here is just looking on the distance. OK, thank you. Next, Gareth. Could you please justify your positioning? Mine is the orange cross. Uh, I've taken more information from the, the guy in the background in red, who is looking clearly, to me, he's looking clearly at the ball, and he's not looking at this player, he's looking where the ball is, so over in that direction. Again, the guy in the black shirt, again, with his eye line, I think he's looking clearly at the ball. From putting the magnifier on this side, I think he's just blinked. So I think he's just headed the ball. It's coming up, back up this way. So cross-referencing the eye lines here and here, just headed the ball. That's where I put my cross. OK, thank you. Next, Hugh, could you please justify your position? Yeah, mine's the grey cross here. Um, I wasn't sure about this player in black, so I felt Judging from his facial expression, he may he may have played it before and was kind of breathing out just after that. But I felt this player from his arms 
agree with what Gareth said. He might have just closed his eyes. He's just played it or is just about to play it, so it's close to him. Um, this player for me was on looking in the general direction of the ball, and so that's why I placed it there. Okay, thank you. And finally, Alan, can you please justify your positioning? Yeah, my cross is the, the purple one. Uh, you know, I'm slightly on the left, you know, compared to my colleagues. Uh, the reason is, you know, I think looking at this body shape, I think, you know, this player is just about to head the ball or he's just headed it. So I thought, you know, the, the contact was imminent. Um, I used to play on the right um, uh, and I think he's looking towards this direction. So, yeah, now therefore, as I said, I think, you know, is uh, the ball is, I think the ball is closer uh, to his head than, than what, it, what we think. That's why I put my cross here. Okay, thank you very much. Judges, please now come to a panel decision on the central screen. For your reference, the larger white cross is the calculated average of the six individual selections. Okay, well, we either think he's headed the ball or about to head the ball. I mean, his eyes close, so it's going to be close to him. Uh, and we agreed on that. I yeah. agree, but I'm not sure his eyes are whether we just can't see his eyeball. Uh, these are, it looks like two eye, eyelashes, sets of eyelashes together. This guy to me is looking at the ball. I think this one's look, this guy's looking at the ball as well. Let's use the average straight away. That's where the ball will be with the average. Do we all think he's gonna hit the ball? Yeah. 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 I think his arms, he's jumping up to, to head it. The only one who was a bit up, we're, we're all in line, uh, with the exception of Alain. Yeah, so if we take we move yeah, Alain with me. Yeah. But your comment, which is, he's about to head the ball, which you think is closer to him, is also valid because, again, he, he's That's to me, he's, he's blinking or he's blinked. So, you know, that's not his, on his forehead. So, you know, yeah, it's, always, it's not moving a great deal, is it? Yeah. The thing is, that, you know, initially I was more on the right, uh, on the right hand side, you know, my cross. Yeah. But, you know, what I thought is, okay, so I, I, I took into consideration more the play on the right hand side, mm. you know, so to determine the, the height of the ball. And then I thought, you know, this player actually, he might be looking, it depends on how far he is from the, yeah. you know, the, this Absolutely. player. Yeah. He's know. behind this guy anyway, isn't he? So exactly. these guys are in approximately the same plane. Yeah. He's behind, but he's not looking at this direction. He's looking yeah. forward and up. Yeah. I think that's good. Mm. As, as is, what do you reckon? I don't know, we're all in line there, so and they all work. So it depends which part of, you know, he's just headed it. It could be out, it could be out here, or it's coming into him. Probably quite fast. Let's take it off and put a cross on there. That's a bit left. A bit left. Is that better? Yeah. Yeah. Behind yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. We're going to use. Yeah, we're going to use that. Yeah. Happy with that yeah. one? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Thank you very much, judges. The coordinates selected are 1019-1102. These coordinates will now be passed to Wilkins Kennedy to calculate the winner of the competition, and they will then inform BOTB. That concludes the judging process. Thank you very much.